Thank you for joining this quick implementation and troubleshooting screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. This video will explain status-based capacity implementations in Omnichannel. We will use out-of-the-box implementations without any custom code or process automation, and we'll begin with a basic implementation and then move on to troubleshooting steps. By default, Omnichannel operates in what we call tab-based capacity. In this capacity model, capacity on any work item is released when the tab is closed in the Lightning console. Status-based capacity allows us to use a specific field value instead to determine when to release capacity. Let's take a case for example. In tab-based capacity, the case capacity consumption is released when we close the Lightning tab. In status-based capacity, we can configure Omnichannel such that the capacity is not released until the case status is closed. This means that an agent could close the Lightning tab, but still keep their capacity consumed. To enable status-based capacity, all we need to do is check this box in Salesforce Setup. Checking this box alone does not change any of our capacity behavior by default. We need to configure the service channel for the objects that we want to use status-based capacity with. First, we need to satisfy a prerequisite of status-based capacity. We need to have a pick list field on the object we want to use status-based capacity with. Only fields with a static set of values, such as a pick list, can be used with status-based capacity. In this example, we'll use the status field on a case, a standard pick list field. We need to consider which field values designate the case as open and which field values will designate the case as closed. Let's navigate to the service channel configuration for case. You may need to create a service channel for this object if you have not previously routed it using Omnichannel. We'll now edit the service channel and switch the capacity to status-based. This will also prompt us to select a field and designate which values will determine if a case is open or closed with respect to Omnichannel capacity. Remember, we only use static field values, such as pick list fields. We'll select the status field now. The Omnichannel setup process will fetch all of the field values that we have defined. If a value is in the left column, then that means a record is closed with respect to Omnichannel capacity. If a field is in the right column, then the work item is consuming capacity. For this example, we'll move all values except closed to the in progress table. The last two checkboxes on this page determine what capacity check should occur if a work item is reopened or assigned. We will leave both of these unchecked for now and return to them later. Let's click Save. We have now transformed the service channel for cases into a status-based capacity model. Keep in mind that this will only affect new work items moving forward. Work items currently being routed through Omnichannel will not be affected. Now we're going to route a few cases and see the agent's capacity change. We have some cases in a non-Omni queue that we will reassign to our Omnichannel queue. We'll move these four cases into our Omnichannel queue to initiate routing. Note that they are all in an open status as defined by our status pick list values. As you can see, our work items have been assigned. Let's accept these cases. You'll see that even if we close the Lightning tab, the work item continues to consume capacity. We can even take our user offline, and the work item will remain open when we come back online. Let's close one of our work items. We just need to change the status of the case to a status that we defined as closed in the service channel configuration. You'll see that our capacity has been released. Let's revisit those two checkboxes that appeared in the service channel configuration. Status-based capacity introduces the possibility of an agent going over capacity. There are two ways that that can occur. The first way is that a work item that was previously in a closed state changes to an open state. With the setting check agent capacity on reopened work items unchecked, agents can go over capacity in this scenario. If this box is checked, the work item would be rerouted using the original routing mechanism 
if assigning it to the current owner would put them over capacity. The setting Check Agent Capacity on Reassigned Work Items provides similar functionality, but instead will perform a capacity check if a work item is manually assigned directly to another agent. Again, if unchecked, the agent will be assigned the work item even if it puts them over capacity. For more information and some hands-on practice with omnichannel and status-based capacity, we suggest taking a look at the Digital Engagement Trail Mix. For more information, go to help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.